AITA for putting my severely disabled daughter on medication without her consent? I, 47F, have a daughter named Sophie, 20F, who has a profound disability due to a rare neurological condition. Sophie was diagnosed early in childhood, and despite extensive therapy and numerous interventions, her cognitive and emotional development remains at the level of a young child, roughly equivalent to a three-year-old. As Sophie entered her teenage years, we encountered a significant challenge, her menstrual cycle. For Sophie, this natural biological process caused her immense distress. She experienced severe cramps and confusion, unable to comprehend why she was bleeding or in pain. The physical and emotional strain was compounded by her inability to communicate her discomfort effectively. Managing her hygiene became extremely difficult, as she would often become upset at the sight of menstrual products, making it nearly impossible to maintain cleanliness. After consulting with her doctors and therapists, my husband and I, along with Sophie's healthcare team, made the decision to start her on medication to regulate her cycle. We chose a treatment that would minimize her periods to prevent the monthly trauma. Our primary goal was to alleviate Sophie's suffering and improve her overall quality of life. Since starting the medication, Sophie's mood has improved significantly significantly, and she's been noticeably more relaxed and cooperative. The situation took an unexpected turn last week when my brother-in-law, Tom, visited for dinner. During the meal, I mentioned how much Sophie's quality of life had improved since we began the medication. Tom's reaction was intense. He accused me of stripping Sophie of her bodily autonomy, arguing that we were making a serious mistake by medicating her without her explicit consent. He expressed concerns about potential long-term health effects and questioned our motives, despite knowing that Sophie's condition makes these concerns less relevant. His reaction was so strong that I had to ask him to leave, fearing he would upset Sophie further. Things escalated quickly from there. Tom took his concerns to social media, rallying others to his cause. He involved my mother-in-law and even my own sister, accusing us of unethical behavior and claiming we were violating our daughter's rights. Their messages were filled with outrage, with many people criticizing us for our decision without understanding the full context of Sophie's condition and the relief the medication has brought her. Now, I'm struggling with doubt. Was our decision truly as wrong as they're making it seem? Did we overstep by prioritizing Sophie's comfort and well-being over a theoretical consent she cannot comprehend? The relentless backlash is making me question whether we did the right thing for our daughter.